All right. Now, let's move on because we have a little update on Wendy Williams because there are still issues with her money. Um, I heard also that her son is about to get evicted because he hasn't paid his rent in four months. OK, Wendy Williams was promised nearly half a million dollars for Lifetime's controversial documentary about her life. Radar Online revealed the details of the project's contract which her legal guardian argues she wouldn't have signed if she was mentally fit. Reportedly, Wendy Williams inked the deal in early 2023, right before she was officially diagnosed with progressive aphasia and frontal temporal dementia. In the agreement, the network stated they would pay her $100,000 per episode for the four-part documentary, as well as a $1,000 daily stipend for glam. The contract reportedly read the producer shall pay artists a fee of $1,000 per shoot a day that is pre-approved by producers that glam is required for the shoot day as a reimbursement for all of the artists and art associates hair and makeup as you may recall the aforementioned documentary drew widespread backlash as many deemed it demeaning and exploitive across social media the docuseries titled where's wendy williams was supposed to trail her comeback to hosting after the cancellation of her eponymous Mm. I, I guess, girl, I need to look it up. I need to look it up. Hold up. Her talk show. Before the end of her talk show. But, girl, we need to look up this word. Wait a minute. Okay. Hold up. Eponymous. Okay, I said it right. I said it right. Okay. Giving their name to something. Okay. So, it's the... It, I Girl, I'm going to look up the word now. I ain't going to act like I know it now. I don't know. I know now eponymous okay which means she put her name on the show a namesake got it um however the disturbing project ends it up telling the story of williams mental decline and struggle with her physical health and alcoholism williams appointed guardian sabrina morrissey filed suit against the network prior to it being being released she argued that the project did indeed take advantage of the 59 year old challenged um the validity and challenged the validity of the contract in the suit morrissey wrote she was not and is not capable of consenting to the terms of the document the documentary contract and no one acting in wendy's best interest would allow her to be portrayed in the demeaning manner in which she is portrayed in the trailer of the documentary she also claimed that williams was deceived about the nature of the series okay first of all where the fuck were you then where were you then because y'all Sabrina Morrissey is, is really like worrying me because we found out somebody did digging and they found out that the judge in charge of Wendy's case basically was receiving money from people in order to be put in charge of people's estates. Because when stuff like this happens, they put uh, like an outside person in charge of a fucking stranger's money, which is insane to me. The Guardian is sitting up here telling us that she was trying to stop life. How did it happen without you? They not even paying her bills without you. I don't I don't. This is starting to piss me off, y'all, to tell you the truth. It probably was the manager and the Sean lady who we know recently got fired. Say they're not working with her no more. Like, it, it, y'all, this shit pisses me off so bad because literally, literally, this lady was worth half a billion dollars. And now they're saying they don't know where the money is. How you don't know where the money is? How you don't know? How you don't know? You clock spending. But that wasn't all of her money. Y'all stopped people. Y'all froze her accounts, put a guardianship in charge. And now you're telling me that money is missing. Bills aren't getting paid. Why is the guardian still there? Why is that still happening? What's going on? It does feel like everybody involved, the people, the state, the government, everybody involved in this must be getting a, a piece out of Wendy's pockets. This shit is ridiculous. This is not okay. This is not retribution because she outed some cheating ass nigga in the 90s. You know what I mean? Like, get it out. Get, get out of here with Get out of here. Get out of here with that. This shit is so upsetting to me. It's so upsetting. Did she get her money? 
Did she get her money? Because you want to argue about whether she was mentally fit. Did she get her money? Where is her money? And where were you when contracts were being signed? I mean, wouldn't it mean it wasn't valid? Come on, bro. Like, just shit not, shit not, it's not adding up. I don't like it. Everybody, you know, pray for Wendy, y'all. Because as soon as I saw her around this nigga, I knew it was going downhill. As soon as I saw her around Ray J. As soon as I saw them walking out that that hotel, wherever they was walking, they was walking together. Wendy was looking, you know, skinny leg like she always do, looking like the letter P. And Ray J had orange hair, and I and he had a book bag, and I was just like, oh no, it's giving Whitney Houston vibes. <laughs> and where are we now? That, that was one of the times I, I was right about something since, you know, there are so many people out there that like to tell me I'm wrong all the time. That was one of them times. Okay. Um, Monica tells Ray J to stop speaking on her publicly following his breakfast club interview. They just allow anybody over there at the breakfast club now. Um, child, we know. We know, y'all. Ray J is like partially a reason why the breakfast club blew up because he called there one day and acted the fool on the phone. Anyway, <clears throat> but still, like, oh, my God. He went on the Breakfast Club and said this. For Brandy and Monica to go on tour together. That's all I want. Really? That's all I want. Why? I mean, like, like what? What made you wake up one day and say, "I want this"? Is what I need? Well, I've been saying it since the since they did the, the uh, verses. Yeah, mm -hmm. like I got the jet for B. We got we what flew out there. It was just vibe. They were going back and forth. It wasn't like a competition, but it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And Brandy, yeah. like her side, we was. I was. It was like. A mosh pit for in a ballot. It was, like, a, it was a ballot plan. And you look to the side and we giving her all that support. And I just think Brandy and Monica is an undeniable tour, mm -hmm. right? It, it's like you you both win last run. Like, no matter what you feel or whatever, like, how can you not mm -hmm. take that opportunity? Yeah, I love why, that. If you know it's there, why do anything else first? And yeah, the last yeah, song yeah. of the tour, Boy Is Mine. Close <sighs> it out. God bless you. Ray J is so messy. So Monica said, I've been repeatedly contacted about interviews, etc., where my name and tour possibilities are being discussed. I've not received any contracts or calls about said tour. Ray J, I'm kindly asking you to stop speaking on me in public. A private conversation would be both necessary and respectful. Brandy is a legend. She's one of one with an extensive catalog that I deeply respect and a voice sent from heaven. The conversation being had without she and I is beginning to muddy the waters severely. She and I are both consummate professionals that share a massive recording as well as an entire era. Please allow this to remain positive and beautiful. Neither should open. We should give someone else that opportunity and co-headline a massive shared stage if this is to ever happen. Any further convo should be private. Got you. Are you uh, really pushing? Shut the fuck up, Ray J. <laughs> shut the fuck up, Ray J. <laughs> Ray J messy. Ray J is a moneymaker. He's a hustler. And I think he knew exactly what he was doing. I think he knew... If they threw this out there, it would kind of showcase whether people would want it or not. Now, I missed, I guess I cut it off before he mentioned saying that Monica should open. Uh, but ultimately, I feel like she's right. It should be a co-headline situation. I also feel <laughs> the voice from heaven. <laughs> Monica, <laughs> we know you're being disingenuous because you're putting too much on it. Pull back a little bit, auntie. Okay? Y'all know, I, girl, I, I love, hate Monica. I do. Because she she, she's so problematic sometimes. Like, but I love her. I just, I can't help it. Okay? Gunica, auntie Gunica, girl. I would like to see that happen, though. More so than her on tour with Nicki Minaj. And that's just because that did not match to me. I was just like, I know y'all friends. Y'all the mean girl squad and everything. But... 
It's giving Monica need to be on tour with other R&B girls. Like, I don't know who's head, like, I don't know who's doing the tours these days, but y'all, y'all not making it make sense. Like, there's a whole group of people that should be doing a tour together right now. Like, there's a whole, it's SZA, uh, Mooney Long, um, 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 Coco Jones, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? It, it's a bunch of them that I feel like should be doing you know what I'm saying? Like the R&B girls, you know, the new R&B girls tour. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess they feel like Ella, you know, all of the girls with new songs out right now. And the girls that's popping on the radio in the last two years, they need to come together and do an album together. I mean, not an album, do a tour together. Ari Lennox, exactly. Um, I feel like we need to, end, you know, have a general, uh, uh, what, yes. Come to the front. Uh, <laughs> Niggas be out here spacing old people. Like, I bust up Jasmine Sullivan, bitch. You need to, you need to uh, be the last person singing, <laughs> okay? And, and you, you do them. Her, Coco Jones, Irie Lennox, all of them. Put all of them in one. All of them in one, okay? And then y'all get these older bitches, okay? Somebody called Jill, Erica. You know what I'm saying? We need y'all to be back. Y'all do. Y'all do fest and stuff together, but no, we need y'all to actually, you know, we need a bang for our buck with y'all, okay? Like, we need to be able to get y'all at the same time in the same place so that y'all could come together and do, um, if you were worried by way, Mary J. Blige, that would be cute. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Summer Walker should be on the other tour. Victoria Monet should be on the other tour. Everybody come out, do a 10-minute set. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoever's popping the most, you know what I mean? Like, you, you get the more time. But yeah, they need to do that. They need to do that. Stop pairing Ari Lennox with weird ass rappers. You know, stop pairing Monica with weird ass rappers. <laughs> Y'all, I'm sorry. They ain't shit made more sense than Meg the Stallion and Glorilla. That's the two the two top songs on my favorites right now is Yeah Glow and Hiss. <laughs> so them two going on tour together, shit. Lyric need to get them tickets today. Lyric, I, I sent you the email. You need to buy those tickets today. I'll remind you when you get home. All right, listen. I'm going. But yeah, y'all, I, I do feel like they need to do better with the touring these days because it's not giving what it's supposed to give, y'all. But anyway, we're going to take a quick little break. And I would like to remind everybody, girl, we getting closer and closer. I'll be at Meg the Stallion and them three days before I leave for Phuket, Thailand. Are y'all coming? I believe we have, we still have four more beds left. Four more, girl, okay? And, you know, I told y'all I'm really trying to get black with y'all. Y'all to come with me. Okay, so we can, you know, be doing all kind of shit by the water and everything. Um, she says she gonna come. So that's gonna be a cute little link up. Okay, me and my friend. But yeah, y'all gotta come through. Y'all gotta come through. We gotta build community, girl. You gotta have friends outside the friends that live where you live, girl. Don't be on no weird shit. Come with love. Okay, come with love. Phuket Thailand, Reset by Design Wellness.com. Follow Reset by Design Wellness on Instagram. If y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all see me post them, like the post, follow them so that y'all can get information about, you know, what we got going on. Cause they're gonna be more um more retreats. Bali, I believe, is after Phuket. So, you know, we're still working on it and everything. Y'all make sure y'all follow on Instagram, go to the website, sign up, and I'll see y'all in Phuket. But we're gonna take a little quick break. Anywhere you go, anywhere you go, 